Welcome back. Let's talk about talc today. So there is a lot of maybe misinformation about talc and just, I want to dive a little bit deeper about what talc free means. Is it a safe ingredient? So let's just dive in. Okay. So talc is a naturally occurring mineral. And so we get it from the ground and it's often contaminated with asbestos. So I'm sure you've heard of the Johnson and Johnson lawsuit with their baby powder containing um, talc that was that had asbestos contaminants in it. So they weren't purposely putting asbestos or a known carcinogen into their baby powder, but they weren't doing adequate testing to make sure that the talc they were using was asbestos free. Now there are some articles out there that are uh, that suggest that talc, even asbestos free talc might still be linked to things like ovarian cancer. And the reason for that is because it sits in the pelvic area um, and it causes continued inflammation. And we know that inflammation over time causes oxidative stress, and that can often lead to cells that can't do what they're supposed to do and possibly turning into cancerous cells. That is a very basic explanation of that. So you can see why it's concerning to use any kind of talc in the pelvic region especially for a population like infants. But what about talc in cosmetics? So talc is a mineral that is really good at making things smooth. It helps to wick away moisture. Um, so it's really great in cosmetics because when you think about eyeshadow or blush or any kind of powder product, talc really helps make that smooth. Um, but even the European Union saw that there could possibly be a link between asbestos-free talc and cancer or being a carcinogen. And so they have banned it completely. The United States is very far behind with banning ingredients. So if you don't know, we haven't passed a major federal law in the United States since 1938. Um, and we only ban around 30 ingredients to date. The European Union bans close to 1500. So we are grossly behind and a little bit has changed in the personal care industry since 1938. We have a lot more um, ingredients on the market that haven't been tested and shown to be non-harmful for human health. They just haven't been tested at all. So that's a whole nother video. Um, so specifically what Beauty Counter has done about this is they have decided to go completely talc free in 2021. So that is where we're at right now. But just saying that you're talc free is not enough. That's where I want to dive a little bit deeper. So our old formulas, like say, you, this might look familiar, our satin blushes, this is a powder formula, or even our eyeshadow palettes, which I miss so, so much. These are both powder products and they both contain talc. Now we did um, rigorous testing and we know that ours were not contaminated, contaminated with asbestos, but you can see how a company like Beauty Counter, whose North Star is safety, would want to go talc free, not only because the industry is headed that way, but because there is question about whether it's safe or not, whether even asbestos free talc is safe or not. And we don't um, subscribe to the mentality of wait to see if it's safe or not before we pull it out. If there's even a question of safety, it is not going to be in our products. I'm going to continue to use both of these because I love them so much. It's not in my pelvic region. It's not going to cause respiratory distress because it's not like a baby powder that's in the air. So I am probably going to continue to use my powder products because I know Beauty Counter safety standards are unmatched. So what is Beauty Counter doing as they go talc free? So there's a payoff. You can't just take an ingredient out of a product and expect that it perform the same or not have other concerns. So as the talc content decreases or is taken away completely, the heavy metal content often goes through the roof. So heavy metals that are often found in color cosmetics are things like mercury, cadmium, lead, arsenic. So those are a few of the major ones. Companies are not adding heavy metals to their products either. They're not trying to cause harm, but when you are mining for natural color cosmetics, um, heavy metals are everywhere in the ground. And so you can't just find a safe source of a natural color cosmetic and, and know that that's not gonna have heavy metals in it because over here it could have some heavy metals and over here maybe it doesn't. 
And so testing is what is most important. You can't just rely on um, a company who sources the ingredients to say like, these are heavy metal free. That does not exist. It is not uh, possible to make the claim that, that products are heavy metal free. So I wanna get into a little bit more about what the testing means. So Beauty Counter has a, for a few talc free products available now in their powder products. This is an old one, so this is from last year. But what I want, why I wanna show it to you is you'll notice that the colors are not very dark compared to this palette. You can see that there's like that um, moto up here and then this one, they're very dark. So when you have talc, it's really easy to have darker colors. Beauty Counter prides itself on being very inclusive and we wanna have shades that look good on everybody. And so to make darker colors means the heavy metal content goes up, which is also a no-no. So heavy metals can cause neurological problems in adults. They can cause increased blood pressure and reproductive toxicity. So we don't wanna trade off talc for heavy metals because neither one of those is good for human health. Um, and there's a lot more neurological um, detriments to children when it comes to heavy metals, just like, you know, kids eating lead paint, like we all know about that. It can cause behavior and neurological issues. So decreasing the talc increases the heavy metal, if, especially if you're making darker shades. So what is Beauty Counter doing in the meantime? We're making cream products. So like our new cream blush, our new cream eyeshadow, as we continue to formulate to try to find the perfect um, shade range that is also talc free, that is also within our very rigorous heavy metal um, testing and allowance. So let's talk about other brands that might be talc free. How do you know if they're testing for heavy metal? So it's not industry standard right now that they have to test and disclose their heavy metal content in their products, which is kind of scary. Um, if you see a product that says lead free or heavy metal free, that is an immediate red flag because that claim, it's not even possible. So we want to limit how much heavy metal we get, but to, to have none is not possible. Also, if you see companies saying like naturally derived colors, Naturally derived colors does not inherently mean safer because we're mining those natural colors from the earth, like I just mentioned, and that's also where the heavy metals are found. So Beauty Counter uses a good mix of naturally derived colors, but also some synthetic colors. And synthetic doesn't mean more harmful or safer either. But between the blend of those two, we can limit the amount of heavy metals that we're exposed to. So just for some other numbers for reference, the European Union allows 153 different colorants. The United States allows 65 and Beauty Counter allows 18. So it does limit the shade range, but that is the safest colorants that we have found. And like I said, it's a mixture of naturally derived and synthetic. So Beauty Counter obsessively tests. If you have a company that just tests when the ingredients are coming in before they make the color cosmetic, um, there can be some contamination along the way. Um, so what Beauty Counter does is they test the raw ingredients. They test a batch, like every single batch during processing, and then they test the final product. They even said that like a pan of eyeshadow, if you test this corner and this corner, they can have different heavy metal uh, contents just within that tiny pan of eyeshadow. And if either one of them is above what we deem safe or the lowest limit we can find, then th they will not sell that product. Even though it meets US standards, they would rather pull a product from the shelves because it doesn't meet their standards. So Beauty Counter only use validated testing methods. We have an in-house lab, but then we also get third-party testing throughout the year to validate those results. So basically double checking our math and then we publish all of the results. So I just was scrolling through the website and I could see all the heavy metal testing. I could see all the talc testing for when we used to have talc in our products to make sure it was asbestos free. Having a company that is that transparent to me is the gold standard. And you don't see that very often because it's not required and that costs extra money. 
So most machines in the industry can test 10 parts per million of heavy metals. And so if there is a product that has a little bit less than 10 parts per million, it's gonna show up as passed or not detected. But Beauty Counter says that's not good enough. And the machine that they use tests as low as one part per billion huge difference. And so when you see all these other companies that they have a passing test, it might not be, it might still be above what Beauty Counter deems as a safe amount. All of our color cosmetics are going to have a small amount, but we just want to make sure it's the smallest amount possible. This year, Beauty Counter has this little talc free palette in our holiday collection. So this is called the Good Glitz Duo comes with a little quad and then it comes with this lip gloss called Gilded. I'll try it on for you guys right here in the video. It's just this gold shimmer. That's really pretty. It's responsibly sourced mica and also responsibly sourced vanilla. Um, really cool story behind that too, but we won't get into that today. But this is what the quad looks like. And you can see we have a dark shade here. So it's really exciting that we have a talc-free palette that also passes our heavy metal standards. And then we've got a darker shade here. So I'm really excited to play around with this. I hope this video was helpful to help you kind of navigate what do these talc-free claims mean? What does it mean when someone says something is heavy metal-free or lead-free? And really just help you navigate. Find a company that does the testing, that's doing the work, that is transparent with safety as their North Star. I would love to hear in the comments if you guys know of any companies besides Beauty Counter who is doing that amount of testing. I haven't found one yet, which is why I'm so passionate about Beauty Counter because I can rest easy knowing that whatever color cosmetics I have on, which by the way, we absorb about 60% of what we put on our skin and then lips, of course, we ingest most of that. And that is so close to our brain. And when we're talking about heavy metals and neurotoxicity, it's too close for comfort. So I love knowing that their testing is unprecedented and that they're so transparent that they put the results for everyone to see because safety is our North Star. Please let me know if you have any questions and I hope you'll have a great day.